Hello chess family, it's me National Master Jesse James and today we're looking at five games from Mitchell White. He was able to win the under 1200 section, the Novi section in our Turkey Shoot 2023. This is He has some very nice games so we're going to be looking highlights over it. One of the things I'm very proud about is he was a local chess player and has been with us for, gosh, I want to say at least five years or so. So let's take a look at some of the highlights. In this first game he's playing against young Jacob Abar, one of our scholastic up and comings and well, here Jacob learns the lesson about weak squares. In this position right here, Jacob makes the bad move up onto to f5. Why is this bad? Well, now the e5 square is very weak, and Mitchell takes takes on the idea to well, to control the weak square. Here he go, goes ahead and takes over on c6, as the knight was the main defender for this weak e5 square. Notice here the backwards pawn open file just becomes a target. Okay, pawn takes on c6, and now the knight jumps to e5. Pawn to g4. Again, there's not really many too, th too many good moves you can do in this situation. And here Mitchell just goes ahead and plays rook a6, at least winning a pawn here. At this point, there's really no way to defend the c6 pawn. As you've tried to move the rook over, well, we just take on a7, and c6 is still weak. So, well, Mitchell is very refined. He goes ahead and plays knight over to f1 here. And, uh, well, of course, you could have taken on c6 right away, but there really is no rush, as the e6 pawn is still very weak. Here we go, king to d8 got played with the idea of going to c7. Here, now you must take the pawn or you will not be able to win it. So knight takes check, bishop takes rook takes, king d7, and rook just back over. At this point, well, the game continued and Mitchell was able to convert this into a full win. All right, let's check out our second game. And this one, he's playing against, I believe it's pronounced Daria. And well, we can see here it's a very dynamic position. White's definitely going for the king side attack. And Mitchell, well, he has good pressure in the center, but also on the queen side. Well, so, what's the best move here for black? Here, Mitchell makes the correct decision and plays queen to c6. Here, tra trading off queens is going to be one of the best ideas in the position. Because, well, as I said before, white's main idea is to go ahead and go for the king's side attack. So, if you trade off the queens, it's just going to be weaknesses here for white. I mean, look at the pawns over here. Yes, it's very good for attacking ideas, but not for defending. And here, well, white makes the bad decision and goes ahead and trades. Queen takes rook takes, and now Mitchell makes quick work of the position. Pawn c3, pawn to e4. What do you do with past pawns? You push them. Here we go. Rook over to f4 to attack. Pawn takes on c3. Look at this beautiful idea. Here, White was thinking, well, they won't do this because I'll just take the free rook. Well, taking over here allows a very strong pass pawn to be pushed. And, well, there's really no good way to stop this. Here, rook d8 check was played. Bishop to f8. Pawn takes. Queen check. King h2. And uh, that's pretty much game over. All right, on to the next game. Here we have, oh, one of our local players. This is with Tarek. And, uh, well, in this position right here, it was white to move, and Tonic just gets a little too aggressive. In this position, there's many moves that you can play to keep the game equal, but here Tonic gets a little too aggressive and plays bishop h6. Here he wants to trade off the bishop, which is a very common idea. And, well, let's just go ahead and take. Why not? It's a free pawn. And Mitchell t does it. He plays bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes on b2, and now it's like a house of cards right here. Everything starts to fall. Rook a, b1. Queen takes on c3, just a free piece. Rook takes on b7. There's a little bit of fireworks here, but Mitchell's able to, to uh, extinguish these flames. Knight e5, rook takes. Knight takes on d3. Pawn takes. Queen takes on e2, check. Pawn to e5, and here a very nice idea. Rook over to e8. If we're able just to trade these off, we're going to be doing very good. Unfortunately for Tarek, he did miss a very nice idea. It's white to move. Do you see a way for white to get into a drawing, uh, drawer's position? Here, Tarek missed a very nice idea here. Rook takes on f7. Oh my gosh, look, queen takes on h7, checkmate. So, well, there's only one good move. You must take over here. And now, well, the position gets really crazy. Queen takes on h7, check. King f8, and here, e6. Here, there really is nothing better than to go ahead and sacrifice back. Knight takes, pawn takes, and, uh, well, the queen can jump back to f5 here. But now we get a perpetual checking idea. Okay, so back to the game. Unfortunately for Tarek, he just went ahead and played E takes on D6. And now Mitchell uh, plays accurately here. 92 check. King H1. All right. Here it is. Black to move and win some more material. Do you see it? Hopefully you do. Here Mitchell plays. 9 to G3 check. Exclam right here. Here he's doing a double attack on the king and the rook here. So it doesn't matter if you play your king over. We're still going to be taken either way. It's a nice discovery check. King went over to G1. Queen takes. King over. And, uh, well, at this point, he just goes ahead and resigns. Okay. Let's 
let's go on to our next game over here. Second game left, or second to last, is this was the first, uh, fourth round. Again, against one of our young up-and-comer players. This is against Nayland. And, uh, well, as you can see here, another complicated position. Here he was definitely sporting out very good technique in his end games. Okay, well, let's see what happens here. In this game, Mitchell was playing the white pieces. Here he played knight e2 with a very nice idea. The knight's going to go to d4 and then put pressure on the c6 pawn. Okay, pawn to b4, not the best here. Here the pawns are actually very well placed, and well, here they're only going to become targets. Knight to d4, knight over to f6, rook c2, rook over to b8, king f1, king over to h8. If anything, the king should be heading toward the pawns to help defend. And king e1, rook over to b7, h3, king h7, king d2, knight check. Here the knight actually does find a very good square. King to d3, and now things do get a little bit weird. Knight back to f6. Eh, what can you expect? This is the under 1200 section. Rook over to b2, and now the correct idea is here. Here the idea is just to win the b4 pawn as is well. Just going to be uh, attacked too many times. Rook over to d7, and let's go ahead and grab it. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Rook takes on b4. Knight e4, we do have to worry about this c5 pawn over here. Rook over to b2. Knight check. King back. Knight over to e4. So things have almost gone about equal here, except this pawn on d5 is still a bit weak. And, uh, well, you like to push these pawns. And here, uh, unfortunately for uh, Nayland, he does make a mistake. Bishop b1 gets played. Hey, can we just play c5 here? Here, very nice tactics from Mitchell White. Here we go. Bishop takes on e4 check. Pawn takes. And now we just play rook over to c4 here, and you're just going to be snagging an extra piece. Here, black went ahead and played rook to d5, but it doesn't matter. Obviously, the pawn could not take, or you would just take the rook over here. So, doubling up the rooks. King over to g6, and knight to b3. Pawn to f5, knight takes, and that's going to be game over. He did play right up until the bitter end. All right, and time for our last game here. And this one, he plays against, ooh, hope, hope I, I pronounce this one correctly, Sectif. And, uh, well, this was a crazy King's Indian defense. All right, I will give you a moment here. It's black to move. What do you do to push in this situation? Here, this was the best move by computer. And, well, I guess it's just a really fun move that you get to play, especially for your last game when you're trying to win all five games in the turkey shoot. All right, hopefully you push pause. Hopefully you try to figure it out. Here, Mitchell found the amazing knight takes on a2 right here. What's the idea? Here, we're going to be breaking through with the attack. Here, unfortunately for white, their pieces are just very poorly placed. And, well, I guess the bishop is really the only good-looking piece over here. Now, Mitchell's able just to break through. Knight takes back, of course. Knight takes on b3 check. Bishop takes, rook takes. This is a negative 3 position, meaning... Although Mitchell has just sacrificed a piece, it says he's actually up an extra piece here. But it makes sense here. The rooks are very well placed. And here, well, the idea uh, was very poorly played by White here. He went ahead and Ted went ahead and took on a5 here. Not to be time to be grabbing pawns here. There definitely could have been a more stubborn defense. The only thing missing here is the queen. So Mitchell problem solved this very nicely. What do you do to get the queen into the game? Here he played bishop g5 check. Of course, the bishop's going to want to take back or else you just lose a piece. So bishop takes, queen takes check, king over to c2. And now, well, as I said, all you got to do is get that queen in there. Here the queen went to e3, and there's just too many threats in this position. And, well, white just falls very fast here. White went ahead and played rook over to b1 and got checkmated. Do you see the checkmate? Here it's not too hard. Here we get to do what's called the kill box checkmate. Queen over to d3 check, and here the king would go back to c1. And then rook to b1 would be checkmate. They call this the kill box because it makes a little box. All right, guys. hope you enjoyed this. Uh, congratulations again to Mitchell White for doing a 5-0 score and winning the under-1200 section. We look forward to next year's turkey shoot in 2024. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>